In lab 13.2, we are going to find out how much of the two substances, sodium chloride and sodium nitrate, will dissolve in equal amounts of water. We will need to measure the amount of solute dissolved for each substance in grams. We will know when we have a saturated solution when the solute is unable to dissolve any more in the given amount of solvent. We will calculate the amount dissolved by subtracting the new mass of the jar from the original mass of the jar. And we are going to find the solubility of salt and sodium nitrate. Which substance will dissolve more in equal amounts of water? Let's first put 10 milliliters of water into a test tube. Mass the jar of sodium chloride on a scale. Record the mass on the table. Place one scoop of salt in the test tube. Place the stopper in the test tube and shake 40 times. Keep adding scoops, one scoop at a time, until no more can dissolve so that we have a saturated solution. Once we do have a saturated solution, mass the jar of salt on a scale. Then record the mass. Subtract the original mass minus the new mass to get the mass dissolved. Let's test the solubility of sodium nitrate. Fill a test tube with 10 milliliters of water. Mass the jar of sodium nitrate on a scale and record your results. Place one scoop of sodium nitrate in the test tube. Place the stopper in the test tube and shake 40 times again. Keep adding scoops, one scoop at a time, until no more can dissolve. After you have created a saturated solution, mass the jar of sodium nitrate on the scale and record the mass. Take the original mass minus the new mass to get the mass dissolved. Calculate solubility for each substance. Divide the mass dissolved by 10 milliliters of water. After completing the lab, students will notice that different types of matter do not dissolve equally in water. Because solubility is a characteristic property of matter, like density and reaction to heat, it can help to identify different substances. Also, students will know that if they are not careful when conducting lab, experimental errors might occur. For example, if we had spilled some salt while scooping it into the test tube, our data would not be accurate. Or if we kept scooping salt into the solvent before the solute completely dissolved, we, could, we would not have made true saturated solutions.